Hello Chess World, it's Aaron here again with the uh, second installment of the unboxing series. So I'm going to make a change to the chess book unboxing series. That sounds kind of boring, so I'm just going to make it for everything chess related that I get because as a, I'm a player, I'm a coach, and um, also teach in schools too. So I'm, I'm always getting a lot of different chess supplies, but not always books. So I've I decided that every time I get something, every time I get a couple of things actually, I'll make a video just unboxing everything and talking about it. So, but, but actually, for for now, it is only books. Um, so last time we left off, I got this book, Build Your Pre-Chess by Arthur Yusupov. I haven't gone through this book. I, mean, I haven't finished it. I have gone through it. I'm on chapter 8 right now, which is about... Centralizing the pieces and with being 33% done with the chapter, I mean with the book, I have to say this book is wonderful. It uh, has a lot of information in it that a lot of chess players can can uh, really utilize and make them a lot lot stronger. Even if you even if you are 1800, 19, 2000, you can still learn something from all these books. So. With my love for this book, I went on ahead and got five more books. I will get the other the other four eventually. So let's look at the ones that I already opened. So here we have Booster Chess. This is the second book for the fundamental series. I mean the fundamental level. Let's go ahead and look at the chapters. So I noticed that every single book has 24 chapters. Let me go ahead and verify that. So this one has 24. This one has 24. And this one also has 24. Let's check the blue one too. This one's extra thick. <laughs> oh, that's fishy. Yeah, I think they all, they're all gonna have 24. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the, let's go ahead and look at the chapters. Okay, we got Windmill, Pawn Weaknesses, Opening Traps, ooh that's a good one. Zugzwang, number 24, Perpetual Check, a lot of good things. You see the thing about most chess players, whenever they see the word fundamentals, they'll know what a windmill is. They might know what Zugzong is, they know what Perpetual Check is, but they won't be able to put a name on it. And if you're in that spot, you definitely want to get this book. Because even if you might know something, but you don't know the name for it, once you know the name for it, you're going to spot it almost every single time, or at least have a higher chance of it. Okay, oh, well, let's go ahead and look at the uh, the inside of the two, just like the, the first one. So let's look at... Paul is this? Whoops. Okay. Shows you the, spe the, um, the specific subjects that the palm weaknesses we're going to talk about because there's a whole bunch of them. It gives you a brief synopsis of the chapter. Then it gives you various diagrams. Sometimes it'll give you a puzzle, or mo most of the time it does give you a game that's really instructive on the chapter that we're looking at. Then it'll go through the game. And it is, it is advised at the beginning of the, of the book to go through these all over the board. I'm not sure why, but if a GM says something, I'm going to listen. And after you've gone through this, this should take you maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You go over the exercises. And it's advised to take at least 5 minutes on each. So then again, for the, uh, for the, for the exercises, just like the diagrams. You're going to want to go ahead and set these up on the board and try to figure them out. And then every single chapter has 12 exercises. And just like the last book, all these other books, they have these, uh, the point system is on these stars. Depending on how many, how deep, how much you understand the position, you get a certain amount of stars. And however many stars you get, 
will determine your grade at the end of the chapter. So in this case, if you get 12, it's good. You have to get at least 9. And 17 is the best. And they recommend that if you get underneath 9, then it's, it's best to go back through it. And the thing I like about the solutions is it just doesn't tell you the right move, like some books. It shows, it shows you the right move and it gives you a detailed explanation. Well, this one isn't as detailed, but like, let's say, like the first the first whole page, all these examples are extremely detailed. So it's going to tell you where you went wrong or it's going to tell you what you should what you should have been looking for. Um, and I recommend, even if you do get the excellent score, I recommend just to go back. Just to go back and look at all the solutions. Because at the end of the day, um, the amount of time that you spend and the quality of the time that you spend on your studies is going to you know, um, become evident in your tournament play. So if you really, if you really want to get better, put as much effort, try to be a perfectionist when it comes to studying. Okay. So that is the, it's the second one. And this is the third one. So the green, I mean, the orange books are the fundamentals. The blue books, which is level two is beyond the basics. And the green books, which I don't think I have one yet, are the, uh, I don't know what they're called. Whenever I get them, I'll, of course, I'll know. And there is a, there's a, a build up your chest, there's a boost, and there's a chest evolution in all three categories, with the exception of orange. The first level, there's actually a fourth book. There is a chess, I think it's revision exam, I think I have it. So let's look over chess evolution. Once you've seen the first two books, the, all the rest of the books are basically the same. The structure is the same. The preface, the preface is the same. Twenty-four chapters. Let's uh, let's go ahead and look at the chapters real quick. Queen sacks. Number nine. Force variations. Positional advantages. Knights against pawns. Number sixty. Ooh, that's that's pretty specific. Semi-open games. Mating three moves. So with things like mating three moves. Where my thumb is on number 20. Since this is a fundamentals book, if you're reading this, you're probably going to be. Actually, I don't know where you are. <laughs> there's no way for me to tell. But if you feel that you already, you can, there's not a made in three that you'll miss. Instead of just skipping the whole chapter or doing the chapter, just try to do the exercises first. And if you get excellent, then I would skip it. Normally, I would say just do it, but if you're able to get excellent, an excellent score, then, and that means you only missed like one, then that probably means that the chapter won't be as much valid to you. But then again, if you missed something, then there's something to learn from that chapter, so you should go look for it, even if it was something simple. Um, so yeah, once you've seen the first two, you've technically seen them all. They're just different subjects. 12, let's see, exercises, one through six. The last two. Um, then in the back of all these books, there's different recommendations for other books. And then there is a index of games, which is nice. If you want to see specific, I guess, players' games, then you can look for them. Oh, I see Spassky. Arthur Yusupov. Of course, he's the author. You'd have to put a bunch of his games in here. Okay, there's that. And now let's look at Chess Evolution number two. This is the third book in the Beyond the Basic series. So this one is a little bit thicker. Coming in at a nice 317 pages. A18. I recommend some books in the back. There goes Kramnik. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, let's take a look at these. See number five, Delon Long Counterplay. That's very important. A lot of players will get a good advantage and they'll be so focused on the advantage that they'll forget to not allow their opponent any counterplay. Splendid weaknesses, very, very good. Pawn play. Intermediate checks. The correct exchanges. Ooh, that's something we can all agree that we need to understand. 
number 24, number 23, center opening. It is all great things. We all need to understand. Even if you understand some of them, like I said before, you need to be able to understand something fully to where you can explain it simply. If you can explain something simply, then you understand it. But if you take five to six sentences to explain one concept, regardless of how complex it is, that means you need to understand it more. You know, you owe it to yourself to understand it more. Uh, the different uh, different symbols used in the game. Yeah, once you've seen the first book, you basically seen them all. It's just different chapters, different. Uh... Oh, opening repertoire. That's nice. Hmm. You see, I think it's valuable to learn different openings, even if you're never gonna play C4, because whenever you learn different openings, you learn, whenever you learn different ideas, you learn more of how openings work, and then you can use what you learned in your own openings, if that makes any sense. Like, uh, how, do I, how do I put this? Like if you understand how an opening works, then the opening you're playing, I mean, if, if, uh, if a GM's explaining to you how opening works, then any opening it's going to be, it's, the ideas are going to become more clear to you because you already understand a different opening somewhat. Alright, so let's get into this other book. This is the element of the one. This is Booster Chess. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the chapters. If I'm moving too fast, you just want to see the chapters, you can pause the video, and then take a look and see if uh, this specific book is for you. Ooh, Good and Bad Bishops, number 17, that's a good one. Okay. Alright, it's over here. And last but not least... Oh, this is the one I was talking about, Revision and Exam. So, this one is special, I think. I haven't personally seen this one. We're going to figure out together. But what I think is going to happen is it takes knowledge from the first three books, and it's like a giant Revision and Exam. So, instead of explaining, it's mostly just puzzles, I think. Yeah, it looks to be the case. Let's, let's check it out. Okay, the preface seems to be the same. Oh, okay, it's entirely different from the first, all the other ones. All right, so there's different parts. Part one through. Okay, so there's three distinctive parts. Okay, I see what's going on. So if you remember. When I mentioned windmill earlier, okay, here's what's going on. See, there's 24 different subjects per part, and that means that's telling me because I recognize some of these centralizing the piece. That's what I'm working on. Mate and two, I love mate and twos. I mean, that chapter was pretty easy for me. So, what this tells me is that it's just an exam for each for each uh, each chapter in the book. So, part one is of course. Whoops. Part one will be build up your chest. Then part two would be boost your chest. And then part three will be chest evolution right over there. Okay. Put it back. Okay, here we go. Revision and exam one. The fundamentals is the essential companion to the Arthur, the Arthur Yusupov's award winning and fundamental series. Containing 432 exercises, Revision and Exam 1 offers the perfect way to test your understanding of, of the material covered in the series. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so. Hello? Huh? Oh, okay. So, what this book is, this book is basically just the exercises of every chapter, but they're different exercises and it's only exercises. So, if you feel like 
you want more exercises of a specific chapter for the first three books, you would go ahead and get this book and use this to further test your skill, um, your understanding of the previous chapters that you covered. So yeah, I think this is good. So this is only the this is the only revision exam available. He doesn't have a re revision and exam. He doesn't have one for the uh, beyond the basics. He doesn't have one for the green series. And this one came out in 2016. So either he's taking a long time for the next two, or unfortunately he might not be working on them. I, I I believe that he is working on them. I have hope. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you stay safe. See you next time.